Hey, I'm here to call out Joe Rogan for talking crap about me and talking crap about my mama. He's been doing it for too long. Me and my mama will tell you right now this earth is flat. It ain't moving around at no 600-something thousand miles an hour, spinning a thousand miles an hour, and floating through the universe constantly, okay? This earth is flat, it's fixed, and the stars and stuff rotate around us. The sun rotates around us. Okay, and I can prove that. I would love to debate you, Joe Rogan, because I'm tired of you making fun of flat earthers. And if you're so confident, come on and debate me, buddy, because I'm tired of this crap you're posting. You want to post a video today um, about a mathematician that says the universe is local, but it ain't real. What does that even mean? That's a bunch of mumbo jumbo crap, brother. And the guy is holding a trident in the picture. And y'all think I'm crazy for thinking that this is a religious thing. He's holding a trident, a symbol of the devil. They're trying to feed you these lies to make you think that science is right and that, that God didn't create this universe, the Big Bang did. Okay, I used to be an atheist because I used to believe that... This universe was created by the Big Bang. I used to believe all that crap from Neil deGrasse Tyson, okay? And I'm just so sick and tired of hearing your crap, Joe, about flat earth, uh, flat earthers being stupid. Boy, I'll smoke you in a debate. You, you, I will smoke you, and, and there ain't nothing you can do beat me in a debate, brother, because you ain't got no proof. Gravity ain't real. It's density. This paper... When it drops, it's because it's more dense than the air around it, not because of some magical thing called gravity. There is no proof of gravity, brother. There's only proof of density. That's why hot air balloons float, because of hot air being less dense, okay? Not because a hot air balloon is an anti-gravitational device. And I will debate you right to your face, and I'm tired of this crap that you're posting. I'm tired of you making fun of flat earthers, because you got one right here that will bring it to you. And I know you won't accept this challenge. Actually, no, I don't know, but I bet you won't. I bet you'll sissy out. And that crap you're posting, it's leading people away from the Holy Spirit. This, this universe wasn't created from no Big Bang. I don't care what Neil deGrasse Tyson says. And we didn't land on the moon. And Neil deGrasse Tyson knows we didn't land on the moon. He's lying about it too, okay? All these people are lying, brother. And all you're doing is leading people away from the spirit. When, when you understand that God created this universe, then you'll understand that it, there's no need for all this Big Bang and this and that, and, and it's all a bunch of crap. That's why the stars, the Little Dipper and the Big Dipper, are in the same position they've always been in because the universe ain't constantly expanding. Why? Why would anybody lie about that? I, what? Where's the where's the my, money in lying about the Earth being flat? It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Listen, the reality. The reality of Earth and space is crazy enough, you dumb c You don't have to fake conspiracies. The reality of this whole thing is so f uber bizarre. We're in a giant ball that's floating in the sky. So Above us is something a quarter the size of us. It's floating in the sky, and it doesn't even spin and you need it there and it, it regulates the tides, tides. and if it, it was any further or any closer everybody would be dead that's crazy that itself is crazy You don't have to pretend the earth is flat, you f retards. That doesn't but help that's anybody. Where faith you 
see that? SETI is investigating a possible extraterrestrial signal from deep space. Yeah, they said this is not That's a drill. That's the movie Contact. Oh, yeah. yeah, literally. <laughs> They're trying to... But this is a real uh, SETI signal. But this is a real uh, SETI signal. But this is a real uh, SETI signal that they're investigating. It is amazing, man. Amazing, man. But this is a real uh, SETI signal. But this is a real uh, SETI signal. But this is a real uh, SETI signal that they're investigating. It is amazing, man. Amazing, man. Listen, man, I got a question for you, man. So, um, I've been a fan of you for a long time, right? So what made you make the switch from, like, being a moon landing denier to, like... You That's a good question. Crazy if we didn't. You don't no. Know. If somebody reputable starts talking about UFOs, you can co-opt the person and say, "Hey, want to know UFOs? We'll show you the real deal." But not only can you never talk about it publicly, you have to be a debunker publicly. I'll tell the government right now. I'll tell you right now, if you're listening, NSA, CIA, I'm available. Okay. If you show me all the real wreckage. I swear to God, I will make fun of that crap to the end of time. I'll make up stories. I'll, I'll lie to my mother. I don't care. You show me a UFO, I'll lie to my mother. I swear to God, I will make fun of that crap to the end of time. I'll make up stories. I'll, I'll lie to my mother. I don't care. You show me a UFO, I'll lie to my mother.